Okay. Okay, just just over to for Fight Up TV. I'm joined by Callis Sarland. Great night tonight. Yeah. Um, our Scottish uh, Scottish debut went well. You know, I mean, it's unfortunate, obviously, with the Burnett injury. I think that was turning into an absolute cracker of a fight. Um, and my heart goes out for Ryan. It's the worst way to to exit the tournament, lose the world title. I wish him a speedy recovery. I'm sure he'll be back. I mean, he showed us. You know, the counters with Donaire, they were super entertaining. He was landing, Donaire was landing. I think we were, you know, I think just, you know, freak, freak accident. And um, wish him all the best. And congratulations, though, to Donaire. It's a tough sport. And, you know, like you said, victory is a victory at the end of the day. And he moves on to fight Tete. And what a, what a semi final that is. You know? Yeah. I mean, obviously, you want to, you know, move on to talk about Josh. Obviously, it was incredible. But I do, you know, obviously, now you're talking about. Uh, Dene. Yeah. Um, I'm building up to the Josh performance. Uh, absolutely. Um, it was it was magnificent, and we, and we will talk about that. Yeah. Dene, were you surprised at how how good he was in the in the? It was four rounds on it, so were you surprised how good he was? Well, 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 if I listen to the, you won if I listen to some rounds. of the uh, so-called experts and some of the media asking silly questions beforehand, um, I would say uh, yeah, I was surprised, mm. but. I didn't listen to the so-called experts and some of the media who was questioning certain things. Uh, if you watched him in fight week and you watched him at the weigh-in and you watched him at the press conference, his relaxed attitude, that's not a man who's killing himself to make weight. Mm. Uh, he got off that scale, he had a little song and a dance and there wasn't, wasn't a water bottle in sight, there wasn't a protein shake in sight, there wasn't a banana in sight, there wasn't any yeah. food in sight. You know, I've seen fighters all sorts to make way. Some of them are not good and some of them yeah, some of them crazy. And and you know, it's it's part of especially those lower weight classes. And uh, he certainly wasn't struggling to make weight and he looked very comfortable and very, very, very fresh and powerful at that weight. Well you know what was interesting about that? I attended the press conference on uh, losing track of the days Thursday was it? Uh, it was Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday yeah. yeah. And uh, got an immediate sort of phone call after. How did, how did Dene look at the, you know at the table? Yeah. What was he like? And I said, well, he wasn't the worst looking at that table. Put yeah. it that way. He yeah. looked all right. No, no, he looks all right. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, it's bizarre. I was in I was in the, in the states last week, and uh, I got loads of calls off journalists and certain promoters and trainers and managers. And I just. Oh, it's all fine, you know, he's flying. No, oh no, he's not gonna get on the plane. I said, no, he's, he's just landed in Glasgow. I oh, know he's posting from Disneyland with his kids. It's just an old picture. Yeah. You know? And it was uh, it was weird. I don't know. I don't know why people didn't want him to fight or whatever or didn't I don't know. I think it was just a narrative that people decided yeah. to run with right from the start that yeah. he was, you know, fighting well, a fan somewhere. Suspense, you know, and, and uh, yeah, added to it, yeah, you're right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now you mentioned him. Um, Potentially fighting in in Asia, maybe at, at some point, whether it's the next round or in the yeah, final. I mean, what an opportunity I mean, that is! I think you know, it's a fight that Tete versus. You could put it, you could put the Tete fight. First of all, it's, it's a unification, it's a cracking fight it's for a place in the final. Yeah. Uh, but it's also um, a fight you could put you could put in, obviously in Africa. You could also put it in Asia. We've got venues in the states lined up for it as well. Mm. So we'll, we'll make a decision probably round next weekend, around when we see the final weekend with one weekend left next weekend mm. in Chicago with a big cruiserweight doubleheader. When we've done that, then we'll, we'll know obviously the full lineup and, and it, obviously the results in Chicago affect because we'll see where certain fights are going to be placed on the semis. Yeah. And those are, those are also very, you know, it's very difficult to say, well, well, well why don't you just announce it? I said, oh, well, I can't just announce the fight because they're, they're so close to the call. It's not like I can hedge my bets. And, yeah, we booked, uh, we booked Belfast for mm. the semis, but we also booked LA for the semis. Mm. Yeah, well, every fight we put, put two. But, you know, you see now there's different things that get thrown in, you know, whether we will go to, to Russia in one of the fights. I just want to keep that balance a little bit, you know. Um, and then the semis will get a real global balance about it. That's why I mentioned Asia. Okay. Um, so Nui will not be fighting then in Japan in the semis. Okay. And um, moving on to Josh Taylor. Yep. Absolutely exceptional performance. Yeah, I mean, you know, I don't know where to start. I mean, 
you know, like I said, he threw every every sh every shot in the uh, in the book. Uh, you know, he looked sensational. It's the first time I've seen him live, and I mean, I've seen him live on TV, but I'm, I've seen him in the flesh ringside yeah. and just the you know, skill, power, speed, head movement, in and out, range. Uh, continue all night, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it, it but, was yeah, and, and the, the frightening thing he said he, he felt he didn't get out of second gear. Crikey, if the car's got six gears, it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna be, uh, <laughs> it's gonna be yeah. tough to hold on to, eh? And said so then, and I, th I think the postal fight, it didn't, it didn't look what it was cracked up to be before the postal fight, in the postal no, fight, and I think no, that. No. You know, but first of all, Postol was a very, very, very tough customer. Mm -hmm. let's, let's not make any mistakes about that. It was a learning fight. Not only the fight, but I talked a lot about the camp around it and, you know, whatever, whatever that snapped out of it, you know, because Ryan Martin, like I said, I was in the States the last two weeks promoting shows with the US media and they were all telling me how good and how, uh, you know, how spectacular this Ryan Martin is. And, to be fair to Ryan, he came here and, you know, lovely guy, but, you know, he'll, he'll learn from this fight, but mm. he, he was overwhelmed, you know, absolutely overwhelmed. Yeah, you know. I spoke to Joe Gallagher in the week uh, and he was talking about Ryan Martin and he said, this guy's the real deal. Yeah, no, no, I didn't, no. It, 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 he, was, it, he was billed to be the next HBO fighter, mm. you know, he was, you know, he was on the Golovkin as a co-feature on the Golovkin cards, um, you know, Good, very good. I'm on paper looking undefeated American. Uh, yeah. You don't always fancy that. Yeah? Um, yeah. So I, I, I mean, I said in Moscow at the draw, I said it's an interesting one because both of them are going to learn. One's going to learn to go on the next level, and the other one's going to learn to go back to the drawing board. Yeah. Ryan Martin's going to go back to the drawing board and, and take from this and, and take from this experience because it, it was like, I'm, I'm sure it, well, what, he'll wake up tomorrow and think, oh, just flashed in front of him. Mm. And was it, you know, it was his first main event big fight week. Mm. Maybe that killed him a bit. I don't know, but, he, but at the end, it, the tornado rolled over him, you know, uh, and, and, and it sent a real message. You, 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 get the, you get the feeling now, Josh is destined for, for greatness, particularly with this platform he's got. You know, you look at Callum yeah. and what's happened in terms of his profile. But Josh is really, he's going to kick I, on I, here, I, isn't he? I, listen, for, for, for me, you know, he has, he has uh, absolute superstar potential. Um, what I would say is, he's got the platform. He's, you know, it's, 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 it, there's a timeline to it. You know, so we don't have to sit here and wait three, four years. We have to wait you know, a few months. Mm. Which, with his age, where he's at mentally, it's perfect for him. Yeah. And for him, fights will get tougher and tougher, obviously. Tournament court final, semi yeah. final. You, you expect them to get tougher and tougher, but you know both guys out tonight will be. And Lenito mentioned it, but well, Josh Taylor didn't really touch on it. He's also a younger guy, but the fact that they didn't go the twelve, it's a big plus. Mm. Baranchik was in a very tough fight with Yigid. Um You know, there's some guys who really had tough fights, and that's mm. that. that you know, it's, it's, it, you have a different mentality around the World Boxing Super Series. It's, it's, it's a, the tournament format means, you know, you know, was 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 George spent George Groves spent after the semi-final against uh, against Eubank. Yeah. You know, um, not the injury, but let's say there was the, the training camp as such. Mm -hmm. You know, was it different to, you know, the performance that obviously, you know, Callum got a stroke of luck, but. You know, he faced Nicky Holskin on five days' notice. Mm. Yeah? Um, Nicky Holskin's a very talented, uh, talented guy, but he was five days' notice. Yeah? Mm. So we're, we're very happy to have a fight, and it was a good 12 round fight, but it didn't drain him. And, uh, and, you know, did that have a factor? I don't know. Mm. Maybe, maybe it did. You know, we don't really know this until we've had a few seasons to see how, yeah, yeah. how you know, trainers will strategize. You know? well, I think, I think, is, it's, I think a, it's a, yeah, a massive it's, part. Yeah, yeah, I, mean, you look at, I mean, look at football teams that turn up at World Cups, you know, it's, there's a strategy to, to peak at a certain mm. point. And, and Joe Gallagher mentioned it, I remember in the first press conference before the final, when it was still in London, before we flew out to Saudi and, and, uh, and Gallagher said, look, you know, we'll peak at the right time. Mm. And um, <laughs> they certainly did. 
And I just want to finish off, give a shout out obviously to uh, Zach Parker, obviously yeah. with his victories tonight with the British title, yeah. you know, your guy, it's, uh, you know, again, another great opportunity for him to, to kick on, and some massive fights in that division as well. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's a division I've, I've always loved, but um, credit, no, credit, to, credit to Zach, uh, but also credit to Williams making a great fight, and, you know, I know a lot of people saying about the scoring and stuff, I haven't seen the fight back, and, um, you know, I can't score it from ringside that way. Uh, I had to actually leave for two rounds because we had a production issue. Um, so I can't actually tell you what the score was. Some people said he won, some people said the other one. At the end of the day, it was a split decision. But it's, you know, one thing though, Zach, I mean, showed we, we, we fought from with one arm for 11 rounds. Mm. That's, uh, that's, you almost deserve the moral victory. But I'd like to see, you know, Williams is a, certainly showed he's. he's He's got an exciting style of man as well, the way he comes in, it's a bit of a peekaboo um, Tyson style. Um, so, you know, be, I think we would do a rematch maybe, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's a good fight. But with these British yeah. titles, you know, I mean, it's a real real opportunity to say to kick on. You look like, you know, yeah, Jason you know, Wellborn, you know, obviously. I love, I love the British belt because it's it's so often about, you know, this belt, that belt, this belt. But the British belt's always, you know, it's, had, it's kept its, its charm, you know? Mm. Yeah, yeah, well, listen. Thanks for talking to Fight Up TV. Thank you it's very much. It's been an unbelievable much. night. Can't wait to get back to the World Boxing Super Series. Good man, thanks for having and us. One and week uh, to go. Still yeah. Chicago next week. Thank you very much. Good man, take it easy. Okay, Cheers, yeah. thanks nice a lot. One, mate.